Okay, now that we have the four Samsung 960 Pro NVMe drives installed, we're going to create a striped RAID volume using the Windows Disk Manager. Anytime I've used the Storage Spaces configuration tools, I have run into some performance issues on the RAID zeros trying to configure these drives. I'm going to use the uh, 4K stripe size and do a quick format. When I do the standard format, I do get a little bit higher performance. It just takes a while to run that through, even on these drives. So for video purposes, we'll just do the quick format. And then we're going to run the Addo Disk Benchmark on it. We'll run the higher Q depths, and then we'll skip some of the smaller sizes just because of how long it takes. Now, when running this on the NVMe driver that's just included in Windows 10, I'm actually seeing higher performance than if I use the Samsung NVMe driver. And I've done that with the older versions and the new 2.1 versions. And I'm usually dropping quite a bit below the 11 gigabyte a second range. Now, I've been almost to the 12 gigabyte per second range without the driver but because i haven't done the full format we probably won't see it on this run but i do have some of the benchmarks saved so after this speed test completes i'll go ahead and load a few of those so you can see what some of the faster read and write speeds are normally the write speeds max out at about 7.6 7.9 gigabytes per second and the read speeds usually land close to the 11 mark, sometimes a little bit above it. So you can see now that on the two and four meg tests, we're getting a little higher speed because of those solid files. Let's see if we can crack the 11 gigabyte mark. Seven point eight pretty close still quite not not quite there mm, there we go so that's right at 11 Let's see if it goes any faster Looks like we're not going to get much above the 11 mark. You can see that it's about 7.8 is about the, the maximum write speeds. And I'll go ahead and load up. One of the previous benchmarks. So you can see on this one, this was with a 16K stripe format we were able to get a little higher. So right here, 11.87 with 7.69. And the writes, I've, I've never been able to get them above the eight gigabyte range, but I have gotten pretty close to the 12 on the read side. So I did a lot more testing. Uh, that, that just showed kind of the, the best case results, but I did do some individual testing where I steadily added drives to one card until I was at four. I also split the drives across two different cards and then across four different cards across both CPUs just to see if there was any additional bandwidth that was being lost by putting all four of these drives on one card and pushing it through one CPU. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, four drives through one CPU uh, got me the closest to 12 gigabytes a second. Uh, it was it was a very steady, predictable curve in speed by adding each drive. So it, every time you added one, you jumped by three, three and a half 
uh, gigabytes a second, and I don't have any additional drives to add outside of these four to see if that growth continues and at which point it stops. So what I'm going to do is get a few more drives in. I'll put this video up and then make a second one showing some of these uh, uh, additional drives being added and where I hit that bandwidth cap. So if there's any questions you have, just post them down below and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see what happens in the second video. Thanks.